As everyone heads back to school, we welcome back you Hawks to the first Hawks Eye View of 2021. What's up, Panahan? I'm Macy Ducker. It's Friday, January 15th, and welcome to the first edition of Hawks Eye View for 2021. The Media Tech 2s are taking over this week, but they wanted me to anchor, so let's hit it. In spite of COVID, Hanahan is still carrying on one of its most favorite traditions. Here is your first look at the Miss Hanahan pageant. The 2021 Miss Hanahan pageant will be February 6th at 7 p.m. Due to COVID restrictions, we will have a limited amount of tickets that will be purchased through the contestants. It will be judged based on interviews, introductions, and formal walks. Come and support your girls. In past years, we would take our lockers for granted. COVID took that option away in the fall semester. Not only are lockers good for getting the weight off your back, they can also provide students with a safe and convenient place to store things. We asked you if you thought lockers will be back this year. The need for lockers probably isn't as much since now we have to do everything on the Chromebook basically. Personally for me, I never used a locker, but I know other people uh, would like to use lockers because they um, carry around more stuff than me, such as uh, sports gear or other classes. Hopefully we will be getting back to having lockers and textbooks and kids can stop at their locker and talk about the plans that they have or their thing, all the great things that they learned in school. But uh, for the second semester or the foreseeable future, we'll not be making use of lockers. I hope that the lockers make a comeback soon. Hey seniors, your time here at Hanahan is winding down. Have you done everything to walk in June? If you haven't ordered your graduation cap and gown, please do so as soon as possible at www.hjcarolina.com. The senior fee of $100, which includes a yearbook, is due on Friday, January 29th. Drop your money off with Miss Murray in the guidance office. Cash or check is accepted. Here's Miss Murray with more. Time is ticking down quickly. January 29th is the due date. Please take care of this business so we can see you at graduation. You can walk across the stage and we'll be very happy. Make sure you don't forget seniors. You know, I could use a break. So let's take a break with Brandon. If a rabbit's foot is considered so lucky, then what happened to the rabbit? Thanks, Brandon. It wouldn't be an HEV episode without a trip around the world. Here is the International Club. Happy 2021 from the International Club. Here are some interesting facts from around the world. Did you know that in Spain they gobble 12 grapes before the strike of midnight for good luck? And in China, they don't celebrate New Year's till February 12th because of the lunar calendar. They give out these red envelopes with money in them, and it is the year of the ox. If you receive one of these and it is your animal year, you will have good luck. Happy New Year from the International Club, and Macy, back to you. Guys, hey, do you like oysters? And do you like supporting your Hanahan High School soccer teams? Well, we've got just the thing for you. Come on down to get a taste of some delicious oysters while also supporting your boys and girls soccer teams. I will be there and I hope you will be too. Let's take a look at our blended students at home, but this time a different group of them. Here are the quarantines, the Media Tech 2 takeover. Thanks, Macy. My name is Nicholas, and today on The Quarantines, we have a special segment with Anthony on students' mental health in the middle of a pandemic. Thanks, Nicholas. Being a blended student is a lot different than being in person. Before this year, most blended students had never had to go through online school every single day. We had to change our entire lifestyles, and with that came stress, anxiety, and maybe even depression. We asked some Hanahan online students to give an example of something that only online students have to go through that's lowered their mental health. Blended learning has negatively affected my mental health by affecting the way I can socialize with other students. I am someone who needs to talk to people and someone who benefits greatly from being able to interact with others and that is not something I've been able to do with blended learning. I think the biggest thing that has affected my mental health being at home is definitely the distractions like my phone, my dogs, my TV, like anything around me. It's so hard to focus in class when you have so many distractions around you at home, but when you're at school, you have rarely any distractions. 
Blended learning has affected me by, I'm by myself now, and there's no one to talk to except for through a computer screen, so it makes me feel alone, like if no one's there. Here are some ways to improve your mental health. Eat nutritious meals. Drink plenty of water. Set realistic goals. Get help when you need it. It never hurts to talk to somebody. Get plenty of sleep, so put your phone down and go to bed. Be active and spend some time outside. Personally, being a blended student has lowered my mental health because I never get to see my friends anymore and I never get to go outside. This is Anthony with the quarantines. Now back to Nicholas. Thanks, Anthony. And that's all we have today with the quarantines. Back to the studio with Macy. Thanks, guys. Club Joy is getting back into the swing of things by helping out. Club Joy is having a toy drive on Valentine's Day to benefit the Ronald McDonald House. They are accepting new plush toys now through February 10th. Anyone can drop off their toys in the box outside of Ms. Formicella's classroom, room 101. It is such a great charity to help out. I wonder what the weather will be like this weekend. Let's go to our very own HV weatherman for more. Yeehaw! Thanks, Macy. This weekend, it's going to be cold, and I don't like the cold. Now back to you in the studio. Yeehaw! I don't like the cold either, Wild Bill. You know what's been hot though? Your Hanahan -Han High School sports teams. Here is Jackson Zeron with more on that in HEV Sports. Thanks, Macy. What's good, Hanahan? -Han? I'm Jackson Zeron here with your weekly sports update. First up, let's talk hoops. On Tuesday night, the boys and girls basketball teams had their senior night. The Lady Hawks took on Oceanside for senior night. Alasia Smalls with a nice pass to Ashton Adams for a layup. Later in the game, Ashton again with a nice rebound and putback. It wasn't enough though, and the Lady Hawks fall short, 40 to 37. It was senior night for the boys too, as they try to take a bite out of the Sharks. Early in the game, Chris Brown here with a nice and one mid-range jumper. Later in the game, Josh Brown with a nice pass to Christian Motley. The boys suffer the same fate as the girls and fall 78 to 38. From hoops to mats, as Macy mentioned earlier, the wrestling team was 5-0 going into their senior night matchup versus Bishop England. The seniors gather up for their final picture before they face off against the Bishops. Junior Josh Shaw quickly maneuvers around his opponent and brings him to the ground to secure the win for the night. Senior Alex Harriet quickly takes down his opponent and secures the pin down. Here's a list of your match winners. We caught up with a few of them after to see how they felt. Uh, we're going against B right now. We're doing pretty good. Um, I think we'll have a great shot at going to state as a team. We're all come together, and I, th I definitely think we'll go far. That kid was the team captain, but he didn't really look like the captain to me, but pinned him in like the first period. But I think we got a good chance this year at going for state. We got a lot of kids that filled in a lot of spots. Nice work beating the Bishops. Are you looking to run track this spring? Hey, conditioning is going on right now. Just show up to the track after school, Monday through Thursday, 4.30 to 6.30. All you need is a physical, a COVID form, and a pair of running shoes. Now let's take a look at some upcoming events. Both the boys and girls varsity basketball teams are playing tonight at Academic Magnet, and they're right back here at home on Monday. The wrestling team faces off against Cane Bay at home tonight, and then they'll travel to Timberland Saturday morning, and they're right back at it again on Tuesday, where they'll take on Academic Magnet and Cross at home. And remember, track conditioning all next week. That's all the sports we have for this week, Han Han. I'm Jackson Zarin with Hawks Eye View Sports. Now back to Macy in the studio. Thanks, Jackson. With Yosef having the week off, we couldn't let our traditional students down. So let's welcome in our newest segment, Question Royale with Val. Thanks, Macy. And I know I'm not Yosef, and that's okay because that man is straight doo-doo butter. Garbage. I've been walking around the halls for a couple of days and asking a couple of tricky questions. Welcome to Question Royale with your boy, Val. What? has four eyes but can't see? Uh, I don't know. Stop looking into my eyes now, that's creepy. Simple. Simple? I don't know. You don't know? No. Very simple. I don't know, cause I don't know the answer. A blind spider. Huh? What's the answer, bro? Mississippi. Do you even know how to spell Mississippi? What has a neck but no head? I don't know. I'm not going to say that on here, bro. Josh Shaw. <laughs> it's not dirty. It's a shirt. It's a what? A shirt. Oh, okay. I'm an odd number. 
Take away one letter and I become even. What number am I? If you're an odd number and you take away one letter. Yeah. Um, two. Two? Oh. E e e How? Explain your reason. I thought of the lowest odd number, which would be three. Even though it's a one, and I just now realized that. What? Take away one. Zero. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Seven. Dang, you actually got it. Alright, I'm starting to lose faith in the human race, because those answers were straight garbage. Doo-doo. But that's okay, because I'm going to be back next week, so y'all better be ready. In the meantime, back to Macy in the studio. That's all we have for you this week. Nice work, Media Tech 2. I'm Macy Ducker, and from all of us here at Hawks Eye View, including Media Tech 2, we will see you next time. Have a great weekend, Hawks.